Good morning and welcome back, folks. I hope all of you are doing well. Today, I'm going to use a feature of Excel that is called Rank. This feature helps us to identify ranking of a value amongst an you know, unsorted uh, table. So if you don't want to play with the numbers, you want to keep it in the same format, but you still want to see who is where in the whole ranking, it's very easy to say. It's a, it's a quick function that I want to share with you. So for example, on the screen, you see um, um, there are some prices of some houses in uh, in, in, in country of Portugal, and these prices are in a very, 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 uh, let's say, uh, disordered. So they are not sorted. I want to sort them, but I don't want to play with the whole table as well. I want to keep the table like this, but I want to see which one is the most and which one is the least expensive. So we will start with ranking uh, column itself that we need here. Function is very easy, is equal to R A N K rank so is equal to r a n k rank and then i give a number that number is this value in column f3 that is the value of the property and then i will press a comma and i have to give a reference a reference means i have to select the whole table column of prices and i have to press enter now, when I press enter, it gave me that this particular value has a ranking of number nine in this whole table. Okay, so this means that this is quite high price when it comes to uh, the comparison. Now, I want to drag it down. So, you remember, we have to freeze the column selection for dragging it down. So, I'll play, press uh, shift F4 that we usually do to freeze the values or you can use the dollar signs as you can see on the screen. Now I press enter, now I, I'm unable to drag it down till the end. And when I drag it down, I can see multiple now values being highlighted as their ranking. So for example, you can see the least expensive is 19 here from the bottom, and the most expensive is number one in the link. And if you look at the total number of values here, they are 19. So total 19 values have been evaluated in this whole functionality test. I hope you enjoyed it, fellas. Um, do share your comment in the comment section and let me know if any other specific functionality you want to go into more details. Till then, I look forward to speak to you again. Bye-bye.